Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here. Sorry my video was frozen at the beginning as usual. At least it's frozen on my side when I first start. But anyways, this is going to be an unboxing. I just got a box from Ulta, Ulta, Ulta. So I just got this in. I'm excited. The only thing I'm sad about is that I had to sit outside for a while because I worked today from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then I was gone before that to take my friend to the airport. So I actually made a video this morning on this makeup look. Um... Yeah, at 2.45 a.m. is when I made that video, so. Hopefully, the products in here are not melted because they're meltable. But we're going to do a little bit of like a try-on unboxing. So I've got my keys here to open up the box. Again, this is from Ulta. Got some fluff in here. They gave me some random samples. We'll go through that at the end. So I have my sheet that tells me everything I ordered. So I'll need that to tell you what I have. So I'm just gonna open these up. And here's the majority of my products, which you can see they are lip products and they are slightly warm in my hands, so they look okay though. So it's a bag of lip products, should be exciting. And I got this to do an advertisement from the Benefit Brow Bar, which I don't have eyebrows, so I don't really need any of this. That's cute though, I like it's a pop up, you see that? It's cute. I'll be throwing that away. And then I also got an Ulta magazine. I'll look through that later. Stick that on my futon. Uh, send it back slip and some more packaging. So that's everything that's in the box. Let's jump right in and talk about the thing I'm actually not going to try on this video, but I'll do a swatch for you guys. So I've been very curious about this powder foundation for a long period of time and it's never in my shade in stores so I just decided I was going to order it online and I got really inspired by the mind catcher I believe this is her summer foundation that she wears and I was like I really want to try this out because it looked really good on her she got a good amount of coverage it just made her skin look you know more evened out that's what foundation is for to even out your skin tone so I've been wanting to try this powder foundation for the longest time because I've heard it has really really good full coverage and it's a powder. You guys know my favorite powder foundation when I do powder only makeup is the Makeup Forever Dual Matte Powder. That makes a great powder only foundation. But I haven't rebought it. I have like a little bit left around the edge left, but I want to buy another one. But I decided I want to try this out before I spent the $34 to get another one of those. That was long. So I picked up the NYX Stay Matte Not Flat powder foundation and then this is in the shade deep dark yep yep it's supposed to be a full coverage powder foundation it's oil free water resistant mineral enriched and does not have talc in it so oh let me turn my phone down real quick before it goes off so what I'm going to do is open it up so you can see the shade, deep dark. I think this is the darkest shade, and since I've been going to the pool a lot and been out in the sun, you know, get my tan on, I decided that I wanted to get the darkest shade. So hopefully this will match my face well when I try it on. This was, how much was this? I love how it doesn't even tell me on here how much each one costs. I think this was... $12.99, I think. $10.99, $12.99. Ooh, that might be too deep. I don't know. We have to see it on my face. All right, so it has a little protector plastic on it, and that's what the color looks like. Hmm. I want you to see how this works on my face. But this is the darker shade. I'm just going to take my finger in it. Oh, it comes with a sponge. It's got a sponge in the mirror and all that. I'm just going to take my finger in it. Ooh, very soft. Wasn't expecting that. I'm just going to put some on my hand. 
know if you're able to see that on my hand. Let's try that again. Yeah, very, very soft. Velvety. There you go. So, that'll be a good color match. It's definitely not too red, which I appreciate. I feel like it kind of oxidizes a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. This might not be my color, but if anything, I can just use it to contour with. So, that's one of the first items I got. I'm excited to try this out. I might do that this week, actually, on my list. Put that on my list of things to try out. And again, this is the box that it came in, which I'm just going to go ahead and throw away. Moving on to the lip products. Doo -doo -doo. I got six lip products. Four are from the newest Maybelline collection, which their new collection is called the Loaded Bowls. And this is what the packaging for those looks like. I know I have one flipped over, but it's nice bright blue packaging. Also, each one of these is individually wrapped, which I appreciate. Way to step up your game. Maybelline and Ulta. So I'm going to go ahead and unwrap all these. I'm going to try on each shade for you guys. I have my um, makeup eraser next to me to take off the lipsticks in between. So we'll start with the lightest shade and go to the deepest shade. I decided to get a variety of colors that I thought would... Um, be nice on my skin tone and there's a couple more that I actually I'm thinking about getting but I want to see how this formula is I've only heard good things about it I've watched several reviews on it of course and swatch videos to figure out you know what colors I wanted to get and we're gonna start with they're all kind of in the dark family we're gonna start with Raging Raisin and the reason I got this color this is the packaging again the reason I got this color is because I thought it would be a good teacher color. So this is 775 Raging Raisin. This is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? So, ooh. Oh, wow. Very pigmented. Highly pigmented. Wow. Yeah, it feels good. And I'm a huge fan of Maybelline lipsticks, so... Beautiful love. Isn't that a beautiful color? Pretty. So this is Ragent Raisin. It is very creamy and comfortable on the lips. It feels like a traditional lipstick, but it has a matte finish to it. So that's that shade. So I'm going to take that off, line everything up over here, and we're going to go on to another shade. I'm kind of over liquid lipsticks, just because they dry my lips out so bad, and I, you know, I have plenty, so I think I'm just going to stick to these traditional matte lipsticks from the Maybelline collection and get uh, some more from... Colourpop and I think I'm done like ultra satins because I can't do the ultra drying ones because my lips are already like dying right now all right so the next color is called chocoholic looks like this same packaging chocoholic number 785 this looks like it's gonna be pretty oh yeah I love a nice brown lip. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to flick y'all off. Look at this dead skin right there. Uh, I'm trying to get it off without biting it off. Yeah, these are really like smooth. I'm not going to get it super perfect, but yes, this color is beautiful. I love it. So judging from little squares online, these two shades are coming off darker than I thought they would. 
the Rage and Raisin in this Chocoholic color. Isn't that beautiful brown? Love. So this is Chocoholic. I love this color. Beautiful. Love, 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 love. It's going to be great. In the fall, which is kind of right around the corner. I know we just got in the summer, but this year has gone by so fast. Like, we're already over halfway done with 2016. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Put a love in your life. And this world, this world will be a better place mm, for you. I have touch up. All right, so the next shade we're going to do, let's do Violet Vixen. And this is a shade that I saw Makeup Shayla wear. It looks so good on her, but obviously me and Makeup Shayla are two different uh, complexions. So we'll see how this looks on me. I've watched a lot of swatches and... I'm not sure if this is going to come off dark on me or if it's going to come off kind of light on me because I've got mixed. I've seen it mixed up. Like people that are in my skin tone range, some of them it comes off dark. Some of them it comes off like a lighter purple. So, but I saw it on her and I love the way it looked on her. And I was like, that confirmed that I really wanted to get it. I also saw these swatched on Emily Noel 83. Okay. So it's coming off in the middle on me. You see this dead skin? Ah! It's like literally rolling off my lips. Dead skin, not the lipstick. I need to get it off though. Okay. Okay. This one's called Violet Vixen. I like it, but so far this is my least favorite of all the colors. It's a nice shade, but... I don't know. I like it, but I don't love it. So let's go on to the last shade, which is the shade I'm most excited for. And it's called Sapphire Siren. And it's basically the shade of the lipstick packaging. Hashtag exfoliate your lips before you do lip swatches. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Yes, Sapphire Siren. That's what this one's called. Number 835, blue packaging. I'm excited for this color. Look at that, y'all. I love blue lips. I love blue lipstick. Oh gosh. These are so creamy, it's easy to kind of like go out of the lines on accident. If you're applying it hurriedly, like I am. Is that a word? Yes. I love blue lips on me. I just think it looks so good. 
um, brown skin. Really any skin tone. Like you can't tell me nothing with this blue lip on, oh, boo. Isn't that such a pretty color? Oh, my love. So I think I'm definitely gonna get a few more from this collection. I haven't seen it in stores yet. So, yeah. Definitely liking it so far. So this is Sapphire Siren. Also, I don't know if you guys can see, but I get a little bit closer up. You kind of have to layer it up a little bit so it can be totally opaque. But it is still highly pigmented. Yeah, love this color. All right, so those are all of the Maybelline loaded, 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 loaded bowls that I got. Got four different colors. I'll probably get maybe four more. I know possibly two more. I have some colors in mind that I'm thinking about getting. So that's those. Next, we're gonna move on to some NYX lip products. <laughs> After I get all this off. Hmm. So. Of course, I have another blue, and I have a black lipstick, because I do love the liquid suede. These are the NYX liquid suede. I already own, like, four or five, six of these in this formulation, different colors. So I picked up two more. I'll probably pick up a couple more of these. There's only a few more colors that really appeal to me. So, and the reason I got this blue, it's supposed to be a dupe for one of Jeffree Star's colors, but I can't remember the name of but a blue that he has and then i wanted another black because i love black lipstick but i don't always want to wear my kat von d witches because that dries my lips out so let's start with the black this one is again nyx liquid suede and this is in the color alien i like that name oh yes super pigmented It's almost like an onyx black. It's not super duper. Uh, it's not pitch black. It's more of like a gray tone black. Which I love. And the reason I like the liquid suede so much is because they don't dry your lips out. They're not transfer proof. They're almost like They're not as non-transfer resistant as the Ultra Satins from ColourPop. They're more transfer, they transfer more than those, but they feel just as comfortable. I don't know what I'm trying to say. These will transfer, but they're very comfortable on the lips. And when they dry, they have kind of like a velvety look to them. Or a suede look. Yeah. So this is the color Alien. Which if you've been following me for a while, you know that I really like to wear black lipstick. I've got funky lighting going on today. I'm like trying to adjust it so I'm a little bit brighter, but not too bright. So that's that. And it feels just super comfortable on the lips. That's why I really like this formula so, so, so much. Some people think it's trash. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to wipe this color off. And they come off so easy. Did you see that? You don't have to fight with them like Kat Von D. You have to scrub. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All the lipstick. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, the Maybelline lipsticks, I think we're like, I don't know how much they are. Just look on the Ulta website. They didn't give me a thing that tells me the prices, but I feel like the NYX ones are like $7.99 or $8.99, $6.99. I don't know, something like that. And the Maybelline ones are somewhere around the same, seven something. I don't, can't remember. So now we're going to try on this blue, and this one is called Jet Set. This is what it looks like. Really pretty. We'll see how it looks on the lips. And you see how pigmented these are? One swipe. Yes. I think this might be the color I keep on for the rest of the day. I thought this is a true royal blue color. Not too dark. Not too bright. And these aren't patchy at all, like they're super pigmented and opaque and comfortable. But they do transfer. Yes, love it. And I applied that so neat. Ooh, a little, ooh, got some of my teeth. Yes, love this color. I just love blue lips. There's something about a blue lip. And this is called Jet Set. So that's everything that I got. I got six lippies, two more NYX liquid suede lipsticks, and I'm definitely going to get some more of these because I really do love this formula. Like, out of all the liquid lipsticks, this is my favorite formula, I feel like, because it's not overly drying. And yeah, it does transfer a little bit, but you just dab on a little bit more. So again, I have the color Jet Set and Alien to add to my collection. And I got four of the newest collection from Maybelline, which is their Loaded Bolds collection. I'm like trying to hold them all in one hand. Yeah. The Loaded Bolds. And again, I got four of these. And I have Violet Vixen, which was the purple. Rage and Raisin, which was the first color I put on. Chocoholic, which was the brown. And last but not least, Sapphire Siren, which was the blue. And I also got this NYX Stay Matte Not Flat Powder Foundation in the shade Deep Dark. So throughout the upcoming weeks, I will feature all of these products in a video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and try on. It's starting to dry down now. It does like set. That's when I can see where I need more. It's like right on the inner part of my lips. I believe it's good. Just the bottom lip that's got little spots on it. 
So if you guys enjoyed this video, um, let me know if there's any other products you want me to try out that you're interested in seeing. Leave your comments and your suggestions down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.